Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of my Monday Make It, Send It videos. And I've been doing these for, um, oh, I don't know, a couple months now. And uh, every Monday night I have a card that I make ahead of time and then I make one just like this in front of you. And so then Tuesday morning I have two cards to mail to my friends. So when you make a card, you have to send a card. And so I started this video series to uh, force myself to um, mail out a couple cards every Tuesday each week. And I, and I mail more cards than that, but um, I like to send out uh, to my demo friends and my customers and things like that. So who knows tomorrow who, who I might be sending these two cards to. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this card right here. And um, it can be for a man or a woman. It's uh, a, I made this into a thank you card. And the one that I'm making tonight in front of you, I'm actually switching up the verse just a little bit. And this says, thanks for, for being there for me. And this verse comes from uh, this stamp set, A Friend Like You. And there's the sentiment right there. So I am using that set on this new one. But the original one, I did not use that set because... The two stamps I used for that was I used uh, Sailing Home, of course. This is one of my favorites. Um, the stamp set and the matching dies. And then along with that, I used uh, Seaside Notions. I used the shells, a couple of these shells here. So those are the two stamp sets I used on this card. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Um, talk about the color scheme. I did not bring my cardstock over here like I, int I intended to, but I basically used Balmy Blue and Night of Navy and Crumb Cake and then the Whisper White. So that's my color combo. And let's see what else. Oh, I, I mentioned the dies. So these are um, smooth sailing, smooth sailing dies. And in particular, I use this the steering with the helm of the ship. I use that to cut out this in crumb cake. So what else did I use? Oh, I was just gonna show you the technique, how I got that watercolor wash in the background. So all I did for that was I used one of our bigger size uh, acrylic blocks. This is the, what letter is this? E, this is an E size block. And I'm taking my Balmy Blue ink pad. And you can see I did this earlier, so it's still got ink on it because I hadn't wiped it off yet. But just simply ink up your block. And then this is gonna be used as our painter's palette, if you will. I'm just going to use the ink on that block and an aqua painter that has water in it. And then this is just a scrap piece of white. I'm just gonna show you the technique basically. And you just pick up some blue with this and then you rub it on here. It doesn't have to be, you know, it can be very lightly and you just keep adding as much color as you would like on there and just smear it all around. No rhyme or reason to this. This is a watercolor wash. And if you work quickly, you won't get those lines that I've been getting. Just move your watercolor brush all over the paper like this. So this one's kind of sloppy, but I did do one ahead of time because I wanted it uh, to dry anyway. So I made this watercolor wash earlier and so it would have time to dry. So basically you've got the blue sky and the water. Uh, that's the concept I was going with there. So that's the card I'm going to make here. But once again, there's the one I made ahead of time. And so all I'm going to do is, let's see, I've got my designer paper. And this comes from the suite. This is a real skinny strip of paper that's um, called the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. So everything I'm using goes along with that um, suite that's in the, ca the annual catalog on pages one 44 through 146 okay so we'll go ahead and just start putting this together so basically I've got some navy seagulls up there so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp those at the top and 
And I stamped it two different times, like so. And then I've already got my sentiment. Like I said, I'm switching it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue my uh, designer strip down there, my designer paper. All right, let's go ahead and put that on there. I really love this Come Sail Away or Smooth Sailing. There's different names for it. But the actual stamp set itself is Sailing Home. And I really like this Sailing Home stamp set and everything else that goes along with it. It's one of my favorites in the annual catalog. So if you're ever asked on a quiz show, not that you care, but Lori really likes this set and all the accessories. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that on there. Thanks for being there for me. And then we've got this. I did ahead of time, I cut out the helm in the crumb cake cardstock. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that on there with a couple glue dots. So is there anybody out there that would like to receive this card? I have one that says thanks and one that says thanks for being there for me. If there's anybody out there that would like to receive this card in the mail, you can go ahead and leave me a comment on my blog. This is going to be a YouTube video. So this YouTube video will be posted on my blog, Lori Stampin Cre or Create with Lori 2blogspotcom And if you're interested in maybe receiving one of these two cards, send me a little comment and tell me yay or nay if you like this card or not. And that might increase your chances of receiving this. What do you think about that? Okay, so ahead of time, I, uh, like I said, I stamped this and cut this out and I used some linen thread and one of our little trinkets. The, uh, what are these called? Uh, trinkets. Sail away trinkets. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on with a couple glue dots. I've already used glue dot, uh, a glue dot to attach the anchor on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put more glue dots on the entire thing here. Okay, I'm just about done here. I'm gonna show you something too, so don't go off quite yet. I've got a little thing that I've been working on and I wanted to share with you, a little project. So there you have it. You've got the one that I made ahead of time, and then the one that I made just right now. And then what I wanted to share with you is these little trinkets here. I've got these stored, not the container that they came in, but I've got them stored in something that looks like this. Recognize this little box? These are stored in this um, container that's in the holiday catalog. And I did not make mine a countdown to Christmas, but I made it into um, my little embellishments. So on page uh, 38 in the holiday catalog, it's, count, it's called Christmas Countdown Project Kit. Okay, so obviously in the book, they've got the uh, 25 numbers on there for Christmas, and then here's all the accessories that you've got to use that, but I'm gonna use my accessories and my um, different die cuts and things like that. I'll use these on some cards, some of these ribbons and things like that. I'll use on different Christmas cards, but I did make my project to look like this. So what I've done is I put, um, some, some of these on the bottom are retired, so this row down here is retired stuff, but these three rows up here, I've got, um, current Stampin' Up! embellishments. So I still need to fill some of these. I'm gonna put some things in here. And then, uh, like I said, here's the trinkets that I was using on my card. 
So anyway, it's a fun little thing, and I went ahead and just used the paper that was in the packet because it was already notched out to cut on these, to fit on these bosses exactly. So I just glued the Christmas paper on there, and then I just didn't make it a Christmas kit, if that makes sense. I went ahead and used the colors and changed the scheme, and I used the uh, classic label, and I put um, just a punch of Smoky Slate on all of these, and so then my embellishments will go on the front so I know what's in there. So all of these little drawers or boxes, if you will, have embellishments in there. So how fun is that? That's the little googly eyes for Halloween. So that's just what I've been working on. So I wanted to share that with you. And sorry, I digress away from my card. But anyway, I do appreciate you stopping by. And like I said, leave me a comment or send me an email if you liked my YouTube video. And if you like these cards and you might just get one in the mail. So I appreciate you stopping by.